Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how to add cool desktop effects to your Windows Vista. Windows Vista already has a few, but like in Ubuntu and on the Mac, you can add this expose switcher that allows you to tab between your different um, active windows and it shows you basically a live preview, a larger window of what's running. Go to this website and download the switcher version 2.0. Okay, so download this switcher. It's a free utility. Um, it doesn't take a lot of resources. Uh, my PC is running very smooth with it running. And uh, of course, uh, it has all these configurable options that allow you to uh, turn on or off features and whether you want it to start up at the beginning or not, things like that. So uh, it's, it's fairly configurable. Download the uh, setup package and run it. And um, just make sure that uh, you agree right, to installing it. Uh, don't forget the checkbox. This is um, being uh, given as is, right? Because it's free, it's not really supported, so uh, uh, you're on your own really using it. But uh, it's been out for a while, actually, and a lot of people have been using it. Uh, I thought I'd share this with you. Um, so after you, you've uh, installed it, launch the switcher and uh, go through the options. So on the general option, for example, how do you want to view all those uh, tasks that are running when you activate it, right? You can tile it, you can have it in a specific grid fashion, things like that. Turn turn uh, how you want it to log uh, to, to start up and things like that. So you can adjust the way things look, how fast um, they uh, flip between and the zoom and all that. I don't like having the numbers on each preview window, for example, so I'll just disable that. Uh, little things like that, you can go through this slowly on your own and do adjustments to each of these options, which of course will affect the way things display, right? The way it looks uh, and, and how fast it reacts, right? So you can do those adjustments as well as filtering what you want to exclude from being showed, right? So little things like that. And uh, most important is how to invoke it, right? So obviously you press the Windows key and that little quote there that you see, right? So uh, that's how you activate it by default. You can change that shortcut to be uh, invoked with another shortcut combination, right? So um, go through these and, um, and set things the way you want it, right? And after you're done, uh, then obviously you need to apply the changes, right? So click on the hide button that's on the bottom right corner here and that applies your changes, right? So after that's done, obviously let's invoke the key combination, the Windows key plus the quote, and uh, there it is, okay? So there's there's the expose, the switcher uh, feature that's been out. We've seen this on Leopard, it's in Ubuntu as well. Uh, I'll open up a few more windows here so we can uh, uh, flip between them. It's similar to the 3D flip, but it's it's head on. It's instead of being a 3D diagonal, um, uh, tabbing and flipping between different uh, screens, right? So this one is is uh, basically arranging the windows the way you want on the screen, and then flipping between them that way, right? So when you flip between them, the window becomes darker uh, blue in color, right? And then uh, that window that's darker blue, you can just click on it. Uh, and then, or just release the, uh, the, the, the keyboard keys and then uh, it makes it the active window, okay? So um, try it out. Like I said, it's free, it's running smooth, it's an alternative to using the 3D Flip that comes with Vista, and uh, it just adds another neat little desktop feature that uh, doesn't come with it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and thank you for watching.